right welcome back to the class today we will start chapter 2 rocks materials of the solid earth uh, so first let's understand why do we need to study rocks uh, rocks are everywhere as we see on our planet as we go outside we see uh, rocks everywhere uh, it is uh, one of the most common uh, item which is present uh, and something that we can observe see touch feel all around us uh, so that is rocks uh, and uh, if you look at all the geological processes uh, one way or another rocks are always part of those geological processes uh, so and uh, another important factor is to understand the history of our planet earth how earth came into existence how was earth always like this or was earth transformed through different geological processes and in these geological processes rocks were always involved so by looking at these rocks we can understand the history of the earth by looking what kind of rock it is how old this rock it is uh, how this uh, how old this rock is all these uh, factors can help you understand how the planet earth came into its existence and how and why it looks the way it looks today so the entire history of the earth can be uh, processed can be understood by understanding uh, rocks so that's why uh, studying rocks is essential uh, so in the beginning of your chapter rocks uh, we discuss or we talk about rock cycle so if you think about rock cycle it's just like any other cyclic process where um, I will just draw this schematic uh, quickly. Right, so. Rock cycle here. So just like any cyclic process, if you have mass A, it converts into suppose mass B, and then it converts into C, and then C converts back into A. So this is a, like any other cyclic process. Rock cycle is also uh, cyclic in nature where it is starts with uh, any mass. It could start with C, then converts into A, and then converts into B, and then B eventually converts into C. So as long as the original mass is recovered during this whole process and the cycle continues, it is called as a cyclic process. So in the case of rock, rock cycle, these masses A, B, and C, A can be called as igneous rock. Uh, since we are talking about rock, so all these A, B, and Cs are different kind of rock. So A is igneous rock, B is um, uh, metamorphic rock. So these are three major type of rocks that we have on our planet earth and uh, sedimentary rock uh, so this is based on uh, nature of origin so how these rocks originated that is what going to control what you call these rocks igneous rock metamorphic rock or sedimentary rock so how they came into existence that is the most important factor that determine what kind of rock it is okay so in rock cycle you have these three uh, major rocks igneous rock metamorphic rock and sedimentary rocks so now let's go back to your slide here so uh, another thing i wanted to mention here is that this uh, uh, direction could be in opposite as well uh, so it doesn't always go like a to b b to c c to a it can also go a to c c to b b to a okay uh, so as long as the original matter or mass is recovered during this cyclic process um, we can call it a cycle and if it is about rocks then we will call it a, a rock cycle uh, so now let's look at these arrows represents different processes of transformation right so so rocks go through different process of uh, trans formation okay so i'm just 
writing with a digital pen so it's not perfect but i think you can still see it uh, okay so these are the different processes or different processes of transformation that converts rock from one type to another even though the rock looks very monolithic it's very stable but in reality in geological term these rocks they do convert they break down uh, and they convert into another uh, type of rock so so let's zoom in here. So this is a, a figure from your textbook, uh, page 47, uh, figure 2.1 in your textbook. Uh, so which explains the rock cycle. And this figure is also a, a smart figure. So that is a very important thing that I want you guys to remember and make use of. These smart figures, if you look at uh, figure 2.1 in your textbook, it has a Google link on, on, on the, in the label of the figure, um, in the caption of the figure. Uh, so if you just type in that, um, I will show you that very quickly. Uh, so here uh, from the caption of the figure 2.1, I can type the link uh, goo.gl. Uh, okay, I think I typed it earlier, so here it is showing already. So here is this uh, uh, complete um, uh, video presentation about uh, this figure. It is called as a smart figure. So you can go online and uh, listen to this uh, brief uh, presentation about this figure rock cycle. Okay, so something you can do uh, for to further understand this process. All right, so let's uh, look at these uh, major processes. First, uh, uh, we will uh, understand these two terms, magma and lava. So we start from here. Uh, uh, magma is the molten rock in the interior of the earth. 